Briar was caught plagiarizing her term paper. Oh, you got caught. <gasps> Does this cocktail spray you with dye? Oh my gosh, this is the coolest cocktail ever. What? Okay, guys. So I'm about to relive the trauma again because I started recording this video and something crazy happened at the start and then i realized i wasn't recording my screen and i already saved because i had to update my ui cheats because there was an update to the game there was a patch ahead of wedding stories so i've already like had this whole thing and been really sad now you guys are in for it as well because when i started the episode things started off so happy in fact yeah here we are briar was getting an early ish night she was in a pjs before 11. we unfortunately have a class tomorrow at 8 a.m i was like how do you only have one class for the whole of this semester before you graduate and they put that class at 8 a.m that is a special kind of evil right there she was saying good night to her toilet you know just normal things i'd even brushed her teethies for her so she was feeling minty fresh and confident and then i got the worst notification in the whole world there she is instantly switches to very sad because robin has passed away robin our previous heir our in-game mom our absolutely amazing show-stopping sim quite literally because if i go to the family tree she died of old age the best way to die so that's really good and she was literally 10 out of 10 of the entertainment career she really was a showstopper and what is so frustrating as well is i was thinking when we were at forest's house last it's so nice going to forest and spending time with family i think next episode next episode i will go ahead and see mom and dad and then this happened exactly in the same way the trauma of losing robin has given her the emotion bomb quirk so this is because she has fame from hacking she is finding it difficult to process her negative emotions in a healthy manner feelings of anger and sadness quickly become overwhelming and often result in an over dramatic emotional meltdown so she's really struggling with what has happened i'm gonna switch this music off i also i'm gonna just temporarily break this because it's so loud and it feels really wrong having like <laughs> when i'm like trying to be somber you know so unfortunately we have lost robin family movie night was awful family movie night is actually weirdly about remembrance and i made family movie night on that day because the family movie night was part of ash's gen and when ash made family movie night it's because her mom had passed too so she's got out of bed twice to cry now and in fact right now she is having a full emotional meltdown she is really really struggling with the loss of little robin so i think we're gonna definitely go and see luke we have to go to class this is the bit that sucks i have to go to class and i have to submit an entire term paper she's off to go chat with somebody online i don't know who she's off to go chat with but i was like how do we deal with this i feel like we have to go full hacks but let's face it i can't hack happiness like you can't hack happiness, unfortunately, not until we get those brain implants that Elon keeps trying to make us. In the meantime, we will hack distraction. We will use this as a way to distract ourselves from what has happened. And in fact, she's got up at 3 a.m. in the morning. So let's go ahead and fully throw us. Oh, she wanted to go back to bed again? Okay, she's like, no, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. I'll get off the PC. And what's making a load of noise now? Why can I hear so much noise? Oh, people turned on everything up here. It's because they were partying up here. This is such a loud house to live in don't get me wrong i've really enjoyed it i think it's a very cool place to live but i'm also kind of ready to like not live here anymore you know i'm kind of ready oh my gosh we've got our mail and lily briar thank you for suggesting a hangout with wonder glenn we had a spectacular time that's awesome i'm kind of ready to build myself like a little cool teeny tiny house where i have like this really cool hacking room i'm ready to live on my own like i just kind of feel like she's sort of at that point either that or we move out with Jaden to help us support the bills a little bit but as like a strictly platonic relationship and oh my gosh babes don't eat don't eat spoiled pasta for breakfast that is just not the way <gasps> And wait, you actually don't have class for 23 hours. I thought you had class today. That's fine then, because instead, it's a little bit early to hang out yet, maybe. In fact, how did you get over that sadness so quickly? Wait, what the hell? How are you over? Is it because you had the meltdown? Yeah, this is not dealing with grief in a healthy way whatsoever. I'm gonna smash out this term paper and then I'm gonna go to see Luke and Lily. In fact, we'll get everyone to come round. Unless we just submit a plagiarized one. We don't really care about getting a good grade. Like, it doesn't matter for what we want to do. So maybe I do. I also like to believe that this is, you know, that kid that built the Twitter account that tracks Elon Musk's plane. <laughs> this is what this is. Ooh, and oh my gosh, Adventurous Hearts. Adventurous Hearts is doing very well. Maybe we will make a sequel. But for now, we're just going to submit a plagiarize. I don't care. I've lost 
like my mom, I don't care about your stupid paper. I'm going to set my robo cleaning, get myself a shower. And then we're going to head over and see Luke. <gasps> Briar was caught plagiarizing her term paper. Her grade will suffer as a result and she's receiving an official warning. Any more attempts to cheat may result in academic probation or suspension. <gasps> oh, you got caught. I thought you would cover your tracks so well. You're sloppy because you're dealing with grief. It's understandable. Don't feel bad about it. And I can't do my term paper anymore. I don't get the option. I love challenging myself. Well, you do. That is why you was hacking everything. And I'm just getting her to study for her course instead because let's face it, it's not going very well now, is it? I'm trying to work out if this Roomba can clean up a pile of garbage or not. I'm kind of feeling like it can't. <gasps> Wait, where did that just go? I just got a call from Luke. It just disappeared before I got a chance to see it. But it was Luke saying he was disappointed us for trying to plagiarize our paper. Okay, we gotta go home. Okay. I've let us spend all day studying. I'm sending on a little jog before we head back to Luke now to clear our head because he is both sad, but also he is mad. And we're hungry, so we're gonna go and get some home-cooked foodies, hopefully. And when I travel there, I am gonna bring the rest of the farms with us. So let's grab Lily. Zane should be at home anyway. Let's grab Aelin, Catalina, Forrest. And where is Forrest's wife? I can't believe he has a wife. Uh, I might have to add her separately because I'm not getting the option to invite her. But yeah, let's all go and check in on Luke. I'm actually so glad Zane at least is at home with him. We are meant to be at esports, but we've already got that win. We don't need anything else from them. Okay, so we're back home. Everyone is very down. Where is Luke's wife? We were chatting with her last episode, so she should be on our friends list, but this is Sims, so maybe not. Look, I just literally can't find her. <gasps> Kai! Oh my gosh, how did I forget Kai? Every single time I forget Kai. And yeah, the toddlers are feeling down as well. Can I try and like cheer them up a little bit? Because I'm dealing with this freakishly well, genuinely. Okay, I'm giving both the toddlers a little bit of attention. I'm going to invite around Jaden as well. Because I don't think we've seen Jaden in freaking ages. Kai, you're now an elder as well. So you need to look a little bit older. And the village mayor is here. Oh my gosh. Is he here to say condolences about Robin as well? I'm not sure, but... Let's go ahead and knock on the door and see poor Luke. Oh, and Lily's here as well. Lily's looking very down. Bless her. <gasps> and oh my gosh, she died in the hallway. Her ashes are literally right here. I might pat them in the garden so she's got a little gravestone. And there lies Robin. Oh no, guys. That means there's only one current heir alive. She got to meet forest grandchildren but she never got to meet ours which is really sad i feel like this happens to me so much it's so rare that my sims get to meet their grandchildren i should probably start having babies sooner let's face it and luke is saying me cooking is uh inappropriate please stop but luke come on i'm doing this for you he's like no don't you be cooking i should be looking after you and we're like dad no, we're here to look after you, okay? I don't know if he's going to kick us out if I try and resume it. I need to, like, send him away. I need him to go somewhere. I'm just a little bit down, Briar. Thank you for checking on me. This is the part of getting old that sucks. He'll have to spend the next few years of his life, like, without his partner, which I just think is so sad. I can't imagine spending any years without Ali, genuinely. Okay, I'm going to distract them by beating them at game. While you guys do that, I'm going to nip into the cast with these guys because we've not looked at Jaden in ages. I can't even remember how Jaden used to look. Oh my gosh, this far. You have a daughter called Stacy as well? Why don't you talk to the family? Why are you such an enigma, Kai? I'm going to make you old because you're an elder. I'm not going to dress you too old because genuinely, I sort of feel like you never grew up in the first place. But I am going to make you look a little older. You do look a little older around the eyes, but I mean, Robin's gone now, so you've got to be fairly old. So let's crank this up a little bit there we go now he's looking older i also think i might gray out his hair and let's also gray out his brows okay let's move on to Jaden. so Jaden is a vegetarian creative sim who wants to own a mansion and likes romance music okay take off all these real quick I might keep you with a nose ring. Oh, jeez. I don't know where you got these facial features from. I'm going to give you a chin. But I guess this is from the wife, isn't it? So let's give you some brows. I've given him the same skin as um, Kai Hard because it is his son. And I'm giving him quite dark hair. Kai, I think, got a lot of... Oh my god, Mahina. 
Mahina's characteristics. I noticed he had a little bit of, you know, a little bit of eye glam going on. So I'm going to keep that. I'll give him a little flick as well, actually. Oh, no, let's give him a bit of under eye. Okay, so I've kept his little eyes that he had going on. He also had a nose ring and ear piercing. So I'll keep those as well. And then he's just got like this little, oh my gosh, he has narrow hips. I'm going to give him a bit more hippage. There we go. He had a shirt and trousers on. I'm going to mix up his look a little bit just to match how we've done his face. And he kind of seems quite different from Kai, which is good because Kai was genuinely the absolute dark horse of the family. He was a true black sheep. We didn't hear much from him. And when we did, it was usually just to come in taunt us. So I'm really hoping we hear a little bit more from Jaden, who is our vegetarian creative, my kind of guy. And then we've also got little Stacy, who is active okay this is little active stacy i'm gonna give you let's give you these eyes oh wow instant hair change she's cute she's got like a, i think like a little cat like face very cute and she did have pink hair which i kind of want to low-key keep even if her eyes are constantly switching back and forth if i do this there we go actually i kind of like it with the darker eyes yeah they look so pretty oh <gasps> And I kind of love your outfit. You're just like a little bee. That's so cute. Okay, we're going to have to try and bump into her. I think with her hair being this bright, I will definitely spot her. So there we go. There is Stacy Camiola. Right, time to go and see if we can sneak cooking for dad without him realizing. <gasps> Look at these two interacting with each other all on their own. Oh, feeling sad as well. Oh, no. As soon as I come to them, they do quick little joint twin cries. Why don't you have a little huggle to make yourselves feel better? No. What? Oh, my gosh. These guys are so in sync. <gasps> Even the glitchy twin, the, the little glitchy toddler walk they're doing at the same time. Okay, that's actually really creepy and kind of like something from The Shining. But there we go. You know, sometimes I have twins that are quite different, like Rose and Scarlet. These twins, less so. I feel like these guys are very in sync. I've never seen twins do everything at exactly the same time like that. I'm gonna call to meal because I managed to cook an entire Italian meatballs without dad noticing. So at least I can get everyone to eat. Oh gosh, Kai is here. <laughs> Kai unnerves me. I think it's because he has the evil tray and I just never know what he's gonna do next. But he is now an elder. Oh, look at her little sad face. I love these two. They're so cute. And oh my gosh, I just heard the ghost noise. Okay i think we might you died angry we might get the chance to actually speak to mom from beyond the grave now i don't usually like checking in with ghosts i think i actually will release her spirit because i don't like being haunted but i never got to say goodbye so even if this is just in her imagination or like a dream sequence i really like the idea of being able to say goodbye oh apparently so does Jaden. oh no he just disappeared like a ghost. I'm gonna express happiness. Thanks for checking on me, Briar. I'm just a little bit down. Well, you're six feet under down below, so that kind of makes sense. I'm gonna just complain to my mom about my first kiss. Like, my mom is, like, my best friend, so I talk to her about everything. So I kind of like the idea that these guys are the same. Like, talk about the fact that we, we've we been staying in a lot and we're kind of struggling to deal with our emotions. We're kind of single at the moment and we think we're gonna stay that way. We made a meal for dad, don't worry. We're looking after him even though you're not there. Mom's super focused listening in. We'll share some photos of our uni and where we're living. Say to her, we'll always be partners in crime together and just appreciate her. It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories. We'll make many more, I'm sure of it. Not sure about that last bit, but the rest of it is really sweet. We're now feeling flirty. So I don't know if when we talked about our kiss, our mom is a little bit like your future partner isn't always the first person you meet. I'm not saying you should rush into any relationships, but I'm sure that there's somebody out there that will make you as happy as Luke made me, as your dad made me. So now we've had that final nice moment, I am gonna release her spirit into the netherworld. And look, she's really happy. I feel like that was very cathartic for her. So there we go. We're gonna release her spirit. Robin's spirit is fading away. Oh, plus I don't think it's right as a ghost to like stay around haunting earth. You should be moving on. Seeing the other seven heirs that are there waiting for you from the Not So Very Challenge. Bye Robin. And now look, she's feeling really happy. She's actually gonna go and play Sim Scuffle with her team, which she was supposed to do for the eSports meet tonight. In her old bedroom. And it's 2 a.m. in the morning. We've spent a bunch of time here. We've made sure that dad's eating. Look at that. There he is eating the nice Italian meatballs that I made him. He's looking really down, really sad. Have you got your old police gear on? Are you literally thinking about when you and Robin were like partners at work together? Oh, I should check how many days he has to live, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna leave everything to surprise. And obviously there's another party going on. I like this music though. What is this music? It's so cool. This is alternative. 
<gasps> and look at you with the suit on. Why are you looking so sad? Oh, you would have known Robin. You had school dinners at my house and everything. At after school dinners. I should have talked to him about it, shouldn't I? I'm gonna go check on him, make sure he's okay. I totally forgot about that. I don't know how, but yeah. We literally grew up with this Jaden. There's two Jadens, which is super confusing. But he was at the house all the time, so he'd be really sad too. And I think he looks so cute with the suit on. Look at the little suit. I don't know where he's been, but I think he's an adorable cookie egg. Bright and bright, it's not into him whatsoever. But I kind of like that they've got this really close friendship that isn't anything to do with the romance, you know? I am going to become best friends with him. This song is straight fire as well. I I'm like boogieing along to it. It's so good. And then after that, you really do have a 9 a.m. 8 a.m. lecture, so you should get some CPs, okay? <gasps> Jaden is a writer's assistant. He's such a cute cookie. Oh, I'm so proud of my best friend, though. Best friendo. Oh, and Violet's come to hang out with us as well. We could always have them as flatmates. And oh my gosh, thank gosh you got up. I slept in. <laughs> Briar didn't. She's heading to class. And do I have one final piece of homework I can do? No, I don't. <laughs> and I can't submit my course paper as well. That's the worst part of all. I just submit a plagiarized one. I, I would kind of say this year as a write-off, but we were never really going to university for the sake of university. We were going just to like live out and experience it and learn some things about network security and hacking and all of that. So I'm not too worried. It was always more about the experience. Oh, and Adventurous Hearts is earning more money still. This is amazing. So I invited a few friendos to the robots club just so that we can uh, spend some final time in the student junior and just doing a bit of tinkering. I actually forgot to invite Brandon, but he was like, oh, what are we doing? I'm like, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. It's also GeekCon in town, so I could get an invite. I could get an invite. I'm really hoping I do because I'm meant to say yes to everything. And yet nobody ever asks me to... <laughs> no! The one time I get invited to something and it's from the ghost of my recently deceased mom whose spirit I released into the netherworld. Why are no real people, alive people, inviting me to things? Why is it only ghosts? You know what? I have to say yes. So I might as well bring everyone that I'm with currently hanging out. Not Diamond. Awkward. I'm with these three. So let's invite those guys. How? Oh, I released you. How were you here? I don't know. But let's plan to wrap bacon around everything all the same. And GeekCon has begun. I'm going to just do a scope while I'm here because there's a lot of people. I'm not usually in a place with so many people, but I'm kind of very much feeling like it's going to be a big old no. Although I could explore space. I'm still thinking maybe she's just into her uh, aliens. A little bit like uh, Saffron was. But I won't know until I go into space, you know? And oh my gosh, is there a hacking competition? I will literally nail this. I will literally nail this. Yeah, hasn't noticed anybody. At this point, nothing surprises me now. Okay, can I enter this? Because this could be a good little money maker for me. Thank you so much for inviting me to this, actually. Hackathon, boom. And then I'm gonna get some food because I am hungry. Violet's already got some foodies. Jaden's playing the game that, um, what? Oh, oh, it's on fire. What was he called? <laughs> oh my gosh, what was his name? Why am I so awful with names? Keen on fires. Yeah, Keen on fires got obsessed with that. <laughs> um, Brandon's cheering us on with our hackathon. If like my hair literally matches the coding, I've got this in the bag, surely. Okay, I had a score of 82%. We will announce the winner at the end of the festival. I feel like I can do 82, but okay. We're gonna work on this rocket and then genuinely, would I rather be studying for the end of term or would I be rather be exploring space? I think the answer is pretty clear. I wanna explore space. Actually, before you install space, maybe you should install some landing stabilizers. And this rocket's already built. Did like a previous one of our heirs build this? Was this a little saffron creation? Maybe. Oh! And Briar is over the moon with the blissful marriage of engineering, science, and space. Is it time? Hi, time she admits she likes rocket science. Yes, it's in your blood. What just happened? What just happened? Why do I lose, lose some followers? Celebrate level lost. No. <gasps> I came first. Oh my gosh. I got an immersive bend computer. What? 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 Is that in my inventory? I think I got a PC for winning the hackathon. Every time GeekCon comes into town, We'll do a hackathon for money. It makes total sense. And I need to get into space ASAP to get my fame back up again. And no, they got rid of the ship before I could fly it. No, I really wanted to have London stabilizers before I flew it though. Because if my air dies, I'm kind of in big trouble. Now, weirdly enough, I got a call from Jaden asking if I wanted to compete in the motive trials. I have to say yes to everything. So where am I going? What's happening right now? Oh. They just sent me home because you're going to esports meeting. I thought we were off to go compete 
in the motive trials with Zane, I did say yes. I've also just remembered we're going to live with Zane. So I need to make sure that we move in with him. If he's an adult in time, which I'm really hoping he is, you're also absolutely shattered after your day now. So I think straight to bed with you. <gasps> and boom, I said it, didn't I? Zane has aged up into a young adult. Ah, I can't wait till he's my roommate. <gasps> and Catalina and Aileen are children. Everyone's growing up so fast. And today's the final day of class. I feel like I've spent a lot of time hacking alone in my room, which is my personality. So I don't mind that one bit. But I'm going to sit upstairs today just so that I can like see everyone and have some final time hanging out with everyone. And we need a little bit of cash for leaving uni. So why don't we go ahead and ooh, National Sim Security Agency. This was our final module was all about Sim Security. Maybe we'll do a little hack of them, you know? Yeah, I think Zane and Jaden will be our new, new roommates. I don't know whether to have them as controllable roommates though, or as like in-game roommates where we live together, but I don't really control what they do. That might be easier. Then I can just focus on her and I can still influence their lives, you know? And I feel like we're making it up a little bit with Diamond as well. She has come to chat with us. Did you just come try and flirt with me? Please don't tell me you just try and did that. Oh, she got all shy after whatever she said. I'm like, yeah, hacking. I'm just like, not interested, babes. Okay, today was a very good day of hacking. I think we should throw a big party for the final day of uni. So let me start groups so I can make drinks for everyone. Also practice my mixology skill. Oh, Forrest is here. Forrest, come party. Escape the toddlers for a day. They're children now. You can come party. It's totally fine. A dyed cocktail. I don't know what that is, but it's our final night. Let's go all out. Spend all my money on cocktails. Seven. These are 700 simoleon cocktails. These have got to be the best cocktails ever made or else don't be pulling that face. It's got to be better than that. Forrest, come check this out. You won't have had a night out in like five years. Look at this amazing cocktail I just made. Look at that. That is actually good here. And it's excellent quality drink right now. And then I'm going to DJ for y'all. Yes, Forrest, get in turn. We love to see it. Brandon, you as well. Probably the last time I ever saw you, even though I was in love with you the first time I saw you, I ever saw you. Now I think you're ugly. I'm so sorry. It's just the way it is. What is this relaxing? Oh, okay. It's more chill than what I was expecting. I've got to say, but it's only 3 p.m. It's like, you know, when it's like a pool party and in the daytime, it's like more chill music and then it gets more like Larry as the night goes on. That's what it's all about. Oh my gosh, Forrest, what? <gasps> Does this cocktail spray you with dye? <gasps> Look at his hands. What have I done? Hi, Brian, let me join the oracles. No. Is everyone going to be full of dye? I don't think I drank mine. Drink yours as well. I want to see if it puts dye on everyone. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is the coolest cocktail ever. What? <gasps> she looks so cute like that. My frame rate is dying from the paint, but it looks so cool. <gasps> Look, everyone, you are just a complete wreck. You guys come and drink your dye. Also, why is everyone hanging out here when I'm doing a really cool set downstairs? Get down. <gasps> everyone is covered in pain. I didn't know you could do this with a cocktail. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, look at her. Look how cool she looks with the paint on DJing. Oh my gosh. I think she might be my new favorite air. And there's people here. Look, Diamond is like so miserable. She's like, look, I painted my love for you on my face, but you're not interested in me. It's so sad. Forrest is just happy to get away from bratty little kids. They're not bratty. They're actually super cute. And I am an actual legend. Look at me. The pain is like the coolest look I've ever seen on her. She's so iconic. I love her. I actually love her. I've got to keep DJing. I genuinely have to keep DJing even when I leave this house because look at this. Plus, I've never had a DJ sim before. And DJing and hacking and underground clubs, it's just a perfect harmony. I'll probably add like an underground club to San Myshuno and like we'll go party there and I'll DJ there. It will be a vibe. And oh my God, so much stuff at once. Okay, I got a D in my final grade, but I was spending less time learning about how to make security good and more time hacking. So that makes total sense. My final GPA is a C plus, but like I said, we weren't that bothered about the grade. It was more about the unique experience and learning how to hack more efficiently. And look at me covered in paint there, looking like an absolute vibe. My final uh, grade, C plus. I think that's pretty good. We did just get dismissed from the esports team, but that makes sense because we've graduated. And graduation is tomorrow. Jaden, you didn't get the cool drink. Jaden, let me make you a drink. And honestly, we're partying tonight. The part. Oh, jeez. I just partied. This man, he partied to my music so hard, he became Nelda. It's a risk, okay? That's how hard, how hard Briar goes. Uh, don't be going to bed. Are you just going to the toilet? No, you're going to bed. No, you need to come downstairs and party, Jaden, okay? Oh no, he's just getting a shower. He's just getting a shower, perfect. 
Right, then come downstairs and I'll make you a drink. Like, look how cool she is. She's definitely the coolest air we've ever had. I mean, they've all been pretty cool. I actually think going to space is very freaking cool, which is what Saffron did. But Briar is just, like, undeniably cool. Like, everyone would just agree that she's really freaking cool. And I just marked the skill of dancing. I've reached dancing level five because I always make her dance first just to get everyone to come downstairs and, like, dance to her music. I look a little Jaden. <laughs> He's like got his little sensible headsuit on and then his little face paint. It's so cute. And I am still gutted that she doesn't have the uh, Brandon crush anymore because look, he would have made cute babies. You can't even deny that. They would have been very cute. But we're going to party for as long as people want to party because it's the final day. We get it's graduation tomorrow and then our uni experience is over and we will be moving to the city. So partying now, graduation tomorrow, brand new life in a city in the next episode. Let me know if you guys are excited and if you have anywhere in particular you would like me to move in in the city, let me know. I will add an underground whole cool bar for us to DJ in and we'll keep hacking and trying to make money purely from hacking until we get invited, hopefully, into the programming career for business. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you next time. Bye.